Hi everyone, I just wanted to step in for just a minute and say, hey, I have been a total dumbass. I have been avoiding everything in my life for a while, and I have uh, put so much time into this vlogging and, and trying to do this uh, YouTube thing, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, but one of my joys in life, one something I love more than anything is painting. Last night, while I was about to fall asleep, I heard a crash sound. <clears throat> and it was in the back room in my studio. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? But I didn't get up to investigate because I didn't hear anything other than the one crash sound. And it's a pain in the ass to get up and try to go from wheelchair, you know. So I... uh we got up this morning with the bathroom and I looked in the back room and there was all over the floor uh, paint brushes. Dry paint brushes, no mess or nothing. But they were all just looked like a bunch of pickup sticks. You know, when we were kids, we played pickup sticks. Well, when I was a kid, I played pickup sticks. You guys, some of you guys are so young, you don't have any idea what the hell pickup sticks were. Uh, Google, Google, Google. Anyway, anywho, I've been sitting here all day working on uh, different videos and doing different uh, photo editing and, I mean, video editing and, and uh, finally I, I went back there and it started picking up my paintbrushes. And as I started picking these brushes up, I started noticing they were coated with dried paint and things that I was just too lazy in my life at that time or too involved in my life at that time to clean it up, to make it right. But for a painter, that paintbrush is your tool. It's a way to express yourself. It's the way to, to release the inner demons sometimes. Sometimes it's the inner beauty Sometimes it's just stuff. So you take that paintbrush, this is a pen, and you make it an extension of your hand. Extension of your hand. It's like a magic wand. What's in here goes onto that canvas, if you're lucky, you know. If you're good, it really does. But that's what the definition of magic. It's changing things with your mind. It's making things happen with your mind. So by using that wand or that pen, and you know, I can use this colored pen and do art also. That's a way of freeing your spirit. Well, I looked at these gunked up paintbrushes and I collected them up and there's probably 50 of them. And I thought to myself, that's my good brushes. I have been leaving my good brushes in bad condition. A couple of them now are beyond repair. They're going to be used for other things, like uh, when I do, uh, you know, silicone work or or painting, just uh, slopping paint onto a to a piece of styrofoam or something. But I did. I did. <laughs> I damaged those brushes. I damaged those brushes. That's like damaging part of myself. So tonight I took those brushes and I took them to the to the bathroom and, and I got some soap and I got hot water, hot enough to scald my hands almost. And I had a couple of uh, palette knives that were also covered, was in the mess, in the, in the pickup sticks. and. I took them in there and began to clean them. And as I cleaned these brushes, something happened. Something remarkable happened to me. I was able to let go of a lot of the bullshit that's in my life. I didn't realize, I haven't painted for a while now. I've been doing the, the videos and, and I've been doing my styrofoam build and things like that. 
and I have diverted my self from my painting, I can't do that anymore. The painting is going to be there. I'm not by any means a great artist. I mean, I wish I could paint like Dave Stapakis or, or Minton Three or Damien Eccles or Chet Czar or, you know, any of those folks. But I can't. Not yet. But it's coming. It's because those guys paint what's inside them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to transfer and use magic to transfer these thoughts, this anger, these repressed memories, these pieces of my life that are shit, and to get them out, to free them, to let them go out into the ether. That's my goal. That's my main goal. I enjoy doing the YouTube videos, and I want to continue to do videos because I'm having a great time doing it. But I cannot neglect my painting anymore. Because painting is... By painting, I can't sing worth a shit. I am not a, a great orator. Uh, I'm not a great actor or anything like that. But I have an ability to paint and to bring things out of canvas, out on canvas. And they may not mean anything to anybody else, but they do to me. And you know what? If you can appreciate my paintings, and appreciate and see something in there for yourself, then that's fine. But if you don't, it doesn't make a damn bit of difference to me. Sure, I'd like to be one of these people that could paint a painting and make a million dollars off of it, but I ain't counting on that. Not everybody's gonna see what I see. Not everybody's gonna feel what I feel. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off here because I know I'm just dragging this on, but I love you and I hope that you and understand where I'm coming from on this. And uh, Bob Ross is God. And fuck Dave Sherman. All right, guys. Talk to you later.